It's only game. Why you have to be mad? What's up guys and welcome to FPL Today. On today's video, I've got some major news to share with you guys. But first, I need to ask you some important questions. First off, do you play FPL or fantasy football? If you don't and you still watch this channel, I appreciate you. Second, do you wish you could make more money playing FPL? Do you want to end your season on a high like at too good FPL? Well, the team over at Fan Team hit me up and said, hey Jay, we're up in the ante this year and we want you to tell your subscribers about it. Now the devil on my shoulder said no, I want the prize money to myself. But I love you guys, so I couldn't keep it from you. If you want to share the love back, don't forget to like and subscribe, and here is the massive news from Fan Team. Fan Team have opened the world's largest season-long fantasy Premier League game with 1 million euros in the guaranteed prize pool. First place this season gets a huge 200,000 euros. Not sure you'll finish first? Well, get into the top 50 and you'll still earn yourself 1,000 euros with plenty of cash prizes on offer all the way up to 5,659th position. And the rules won't seem foreign to you with squads of 15 players, a familiar 100 million budget, deadline one hour before the first match kicks off in a game week, and captains and vice captains as well as wild cards in play. Point scoring for players should also be familiar to most fantasy football players. So join fan team today and pick your 15 man squad for 25 euros and you could end your next FPL season on a high. Use a link in the description or on screen to sign up today. I thought last year the team at Fan Team were crazy enough when they had 50,000 euros to the winner, but now 200,000 euros, all for playing a game we're going to be playing anyway. And what's even better is for an FPL fanatic and overall workhorse like me that hates taking too much time off and after the amount of time I've had to take off earlier this year, I'm ready to get back into the game and into the grind of making videos for you guys. And Fan Team's game is already open to enter with the promoted team's players getting added and prices already live. So boys and girls, let's take a look at the prices and who I might be going with into the new Fan Team FPL season. And if you join, make sure to share your team in the comments down below. Let's start talking FPL again. Okay, the first thing I wanna do, and I'm recording this literally the day after Fulham got promoted uh, through the playoffs. Potentially, we might actually have some Fulham players already on the game. Are they that on the ball? No, but let's be fair, it literally happened last night. But we do want to look at the likes of West Brom and Leeds to potentially see if we can get any bargain players. Pereira is a player I am interested in, to be fair. Six million price isn't too bad. We'll just add him in for now and see where we go with that one. And then if we have a look at Leeds players as well, is there anyone there? at Leeds that we could be looking at. Pablo Hernandez is a player that does have some decent underlying stats. The problem is he's quite old, if memory serves me correctly. If we have a look at him, does it have his age? It doesn't show his age, but I'm pretty confident he's getting on the older side and there's potentially a player that might get replaced or might not be able to hack it in the Premier League. We're looking at mainly midfielders at the moment. Keeper wise, they do have a 4.5 million keeper. I do like the idea of Eiling. He looks like he has some decent attacking numbers to his belt. Ben White at 4 million. Pretty sure a lot of big clubs want Ben White. So maybe Ben White could be a cheeky uh, pickup that some big club takes away from Leeds. And then we've got him in our side. So I think we'll go with Ben White from Leeds for now. That's two cheap players. It only cost me 10 million. We've got a midfielder and an attacker already. I reckon I'm probably going big guns in midfield as well. So do we have cheap strikers available to us? Ian Nacho could be a decent shout at Leicester. Does seem to be getting more game time. Charlie Adams potentially. But that's if I'm going to be ignoring the likes of Danny Ings. Vidra did get game time. I mean, it's going to be a bench player. So ideally a starter, but it doesn't really matter if they're going to be scoring goals or not. We'll go Vidra for now, just because he's around that 5 million price. What cheap goalkeepers can we get in? Because you know me, I like a 4.5 million goalkeeper. I don't like spending any more than that. Which probably rules out the likes of Pope now and Henderson, which is unfortunate. Yeah, Pope and Henderson. Oh no, Henderson's still 5. You know what, we might go Henderson. I mean, he might. We don't know what's going to happen to Henderson, though. He probably isn't going to stay at Sheffield. Don't know how long his loan is. That looks a bit risky to me, to be fair. So, to be fair, we're going to get rid of Henderson for now. We'll have McCarthy. Southampton, lad. We could go with the mccarthy gun combo, potentially. Just go with the Southampton goalkeeper. It does mean we'd only have one other Southampton spot. 
but there we go. McCarthy is in for now. 4.5 million. Southampton looked decent at the end of the season, so we'll go with that. All right, midfield. Let's go into the big hitters. Now, we don't, of course, know yet what the uh, fixtures are going to be after this first game week. But Chelsea, Leicester, Liverpool, Man City, Man United, Wolves, Spurs, Sheffield, Arsenal, Burnley. I wouldn't say any of the big clubs have an easy fixture. Aston Villa will be facing um, Fulham by the looks of it. So maybe if we think one of these fixtures might be an easy tie, we might go and try and target that in the first game week. But I think fixtures are relevant. We probably want Sterling, Salah and Bruno Fernandes. Now Pulisic is a shout at 9.5 million, significantly cheaper than Salah, Sterling and Fernandes. Greenwood as a midfielder is very interesting if he keeps his starting berth. We've got Ziyech there as well. Phil Foden, Bernardo Silva at the 7.5 million mark. Be interesting to see how much game time they get. Saka at 7 million. So there is some cheaper options that we could have a look at. But you know what, for now, we're going to go with those three in midfield. And then when the fixtures come out, we'll of course consider our options. And then in defence, I mean, ideally, there's two defenders that I think everyone knows about. Alexander Arnold. If you somehow got Robertson inside, that'd probably be good as well. But Doherty has a goal for it. Those two are the big boys in defence, which would mean we probably have to go pretty cheap elsewhere. Now, of course, we could sacrifice one of these players for a more expensive striker as we get more information about fixtures. But let's have a look at strikers and see if there's anyone cheap enough that we would consider putting them in our side. Ings 8.5 isn't bad, Jimenez 9 million isn't bad, very consistent striker, slowly ticks over. Timo Werner at 10, we'll go for Ings for now, we can always upgrade later, and Mikel Antonio is now a striker. With Brighton in the first game, we could try and target that fixture, and that is our starting 11 by the looks of it. And there we have the rest of the team, as you can see we went with Suchek in midfield, 4.5 million for that West Ham midfielder who had some pretty good goal threat at the end of the season, looks like a good shout to me. Bellerin, I've got to check up of course on his injuries and so on and so forth, but Bellerin at 4.5 million seems like a bit of a steal. Tierney would be my preferred option of course, but with the defenders I've picked so far, unless I go Tierney over Doherty, it doesn't look like Tierney's really going to fit into the side at the moment. And then of course we do have DeAndre Yedlin, 4 million. There's a chance he's a starter, he probably isn't going to be, but right now we just need someone to be on the bench for that 4 million and we have spent our full 100 million with currently Salah as captain, Sterling as vice captain, but we'll see how that goes. And of course, I don't know the fixtures for the beginning of the season, so this is likely to change and I will of course do a video on that side before the season starts. And there we have it, so if you're hyped for next season like me, consider going over to Fan Team and trying your hand at winning some of that 1 million euros prize pool using the link in the description down below. It's an affiliate link, so if you are thinking of entering, then you will be supporting the channel by using the link to join. And if you do enter, make sure to share your team in the description down below. Yes, it's very early to be thinking about Fantasy Premier League, but I can't help myself and I love making videos for you guys. Also, massive thank you to Fan Team for continuing to support FPL today. If you've enjoyed this video, please do hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell as I'll be grinding out the content for you guys during pre season and then throughout the rest of the next season. And then, of course, we potentially have the Euros as well. So it's going to be a busy time over here on FPL today. I've been JNO, this has been FPL Today, and remember, it's all about the game.